What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I have a little bit of vain glory for you guys. So this is going to be the first live uh, multiplayer game that I've done for a video, and basically what we're going to be doing is destroying. Uh, this gameplay was really, really nice. I don't think we even lost a turret during the whole thing, so things went very smoothly, and uh, I'm just going to talk about how I build, who I'm playing, and uh, just, you know, how things are going. So... Right here, we are going to be playing Ringo, and what I like to do for, with Ringo in the very beginning is just sort of go through the jungle. Um, he has a really nice ability in the beginning, which I think is called Achilles Heal, and basically it just deals a crap ton of damage to whatever it hits. So uh, it's really, really nice for taking out these higher um, HP jungle units. I forget exactly what these guys are called. They kind of look like Minotaurs, so may, we'll go with that. Anyway, they're really good for taking out the jungle units, and uh, it really helps early on in the game. So you see right here... We're going to be really nice and not actually steal each other's um, jungle units. What happens a lot is you'll get on a team where two people are actually jungling at the same time, and then they'll like try and steal each other, uh, steal each other's boost and and stuff like that, and it just doesn't go well. So if you guys are ever playing jungle, especially with me, don't even try because I get super pissed about it, and I've like had games where I just will not even try because someone has stolen all of my gold from the jungle. So. That, that's a little side note there, but what we're going to go and do now is get into the shop by the uh, battery right there. And what that's going to do is that's basically just going to allow me to sustain a little bit longer. And I'm never going to have to worry about running out of energy for my different abilities. So uh, now I'm going to go into the enemy's jungle. And this is really what I like to do if I think that the enemy is a little bit behind us and that if I have a second jungler. So like right here, I have two junglers or I have me and another jungler. And uh, what we're going to be able to do is basically just take anyone that tries to uh, to gank us. So if we're sticking in their jungle, um, they're most likely going to realize that and try and attack us. But if there's two of us, one can hide in the bush and the other can draw them in. And uh, we can sort of turn the tables on them there. So that's what I like to do if you're having two junglers. If you're the only jungler, I'd probably stay on your side of the map and then just try to uh, pick up kills in lane once you're a little bit stronger. So right here you see, I did see that there was a... Uh, a saw that was a little bit stupid and left himself open to be attacked. So I'm going to drop my Achilles heel right there and uh, just deal some damage. He did get a few hits off on me, but I'm not too worried about that. And it looks like I'm going to get away with uh, plenty of health to continue on here. So right now I got up to around 300, 400 gold. So I'm going to go back to the shop and buy my, uh, my second item, which is going to be basically just more damage. Um, for my abilities. So I like building abilities with Ringo. With Saw, it's really all about just pure damage, uh, but Ringo has some really nice abilities, so I like to uh, build that in and actually try and try and build up his abilities. So right here, you see, I uh, snuck around back and picked up the really cheeky kill from behind right there, and that's going to be my first kill of the game. And uh, now I'm just going to try and get behind my wave here and push the lane a little bit. So um, really, it's just not even last hits with this game. It's just dealing as much damage and pushing your wave in as fast as possible. So that's going to get me, I believe, a level three or four right there. And uh, that's going to allow me to upgrade my Achilles heal ability. And now that that's level three, I'm going to start focusing on my rapid fire ability. So right here, we're just going to uh, continue to push that wave, get some extra gold. And I do see that saws right there. So I'm going to be a little bit careful and uh, just pop my uh, attack speed ability and get away. So the thing about that is that not only does it improve your attack speed, but it also um, gives you a little bit of movement speed. So if you are being chased down, you can pop that and uh, run away really quickly. Another thing that you can do is use your Achilles heal ability on the enemy because that actually does a brief slow, uh, and it's really nice for hunting down units. Uh, it's not quite as good if you're trying to get away because it does take a while to cast, but uh, it is really nice if you're trying to get away. Anyway, right here you see I was trying to see if I could get her on back and take out this Ringo right here. Uh, but I couldn't find her for a little while, or him. I think Ringo's a him. Um, yeah, that sounds like a dude's name. Anyway, we're going to search for a little while, and then I try and go back into the bush right here, and look who pops up. It's Ringo right there. So me and the other jungler are just going to pick him up for an easy 150 gold right there, and my second kill of the game. So now at this point, we can head back to the shop, because we're almost at 1,000 gold, and uh, we're going to pick up this... I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like chronograph or something. Anyway, it's basically just going to be more uh, more crystal um, time decrease. I guess that's what you call it. Um, but basically, it just means that I can use my abilities more often. And uh, I think it's also going to allow me to have a little bit more 
um, energy so I don't have to worry about running out of that anytime. Anyway, right here we're going to head back into the lane and just pick up some extra gold and uh, again shove that wave in because the longer that the wave is shoved into the enemy's turret, the less gold that they're going to get because the turret destroys your units without ever having to uh, worry about uh, without ever having to worry about them taking any gold. Anyway, right here, the Ringo was smart and dumb all at the same time. He picked up the kill from me, uh, but he turret dove way too hard, and uh, I picked up the kill from that. Now, one thing in this game, it's really hard to get like nine kills that you didn't do. So, like, like I chased him and drew him into the turret. So technically, in like League of Legends, that would be considered my kill. Um, but since this game's a little bit less sophisticated in that sense. Um, it's just going to say that that was a kill of an enemy and no one really got gold from that. So it's a little bit disappointing, but you know, it's still a kill for our team and it's still going to set them back a little bit. So, um, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, that's just something you guys might want to think about. If you're looking to trade kills, uh, you really can't use the turret as a, um, extension of yourself. Anyway, right here, we're going to drop the Achilles heel, but it looks like the turret's going to, for some reason, pick me up instead of the minions and uh, I'm going to have to back away there. But this turret is pretty low at this point, so I'm going to try and keep pushing that and see if I can uh, take the first turret and possibly even take Ringo while I'm at it. Uh, it looks like he's being a little bit weird and just sort of hanging around here, so I'm going to try and get him around back right here. It looks like we're both going to go after him, and uh, I'm actually going to pick him up with my ultimate right there. So, um, oh, excuse me, I'm going to pick up the turret with my ultimate, and the, uh, the other jungler is going to pick up the Kale right there. So... Right here, I have the hiccups, you're kidding me. All right, anyway, we're gonna move on with video here, even though I have the hiccups. Uh, but anyway, you can see right here, we're gonna go for the second turret, and I'm having some crazy damage output now uh, because I have all these different abilities and I have them boosted due to my different um, buys that I've done in the shop. So we're gonna take out this turret in the first push that we do on it. It's gonna go down very quickly right here, and that's gonna be that turret down. So it's going to be 300 gold in my pocket and it's going to be uh, pretty much the end of the enemy as far as them being able to defend their jungle. Once that second turret goes down they have nowhere to retreat to and uh, you can basically just camp them at their uh, gate. So you don't have to worry about them taking back any of their minion, uh, minion, I guess they would call minion camps, not really. Um, min minion boost camps, we're calling that. Uh, but basically there's the, they're those giant things at the bottom that give your minions boosts. Anyway, right here you see he actually used his ultimate on me, um, but I managed to chase him down, and now I'm going to have to get away because there's two of them, and uh, we'll see what happens. So there's two of them chasing me, um, but I'm going to go deep into our jungle, and I'm not going to have to worry about that. Also, I have some nice health regen because of my uh, first buy that I did, which I, I don't know what it's called, but basically it just gives me um, a bunch of health regen, and that's very, very helpful. So right here, we're going to actually have an interesting battle because I'm very low on health, um, but I can still have some pretty good damage output. So I'm going to uh, just throw in an Achilles heal and then run away. And uh, it looks like the rest of my team is going to clean up for some nice kills and for the immense payout from the uh, gold mine. So pretty pretty nice play right there. And I'm also going to get a bunch of health regen. So uh, that's pretty nice. And now we can move on to buying the uh, heavy prism, I believe that's called. And one thing I do want to mention, since we ace them, which is basically just taking them all out at the same time, we get crazy health regen, and that's going to allow me to sustain and not have to back because I was very low on health at that point. Anyway, right here, we're just going to steal their different jungle units, and uh, they're going to go down pretty quickly because we are a fairly high level. So uh, once we get through those, we're going to probably focus on their first turret, and then from there, work on to their crystal. Anyway, up top there, I did see that Saw was trying to cause some trouble, so I'm going to run by. I thought that turret might actually pick me up, but it looks like it didn't. So we can uh, continue down here, and since I'm so far behind Saw, it looks like this is actually going to be really easy, um, and we're going to be able to pick up two kills here, even though I'm going to get fairly low on health because two of them were trying to uh, focus me down there. Anyway, we are now basically at zero health. And uh, I was thinking about backing, but with all that health regen that we're getting from acing them, it's really not worth it. So I'm just going to uh, try and sustain through this and pick up some minion kills while I'm at it. Now, you see the other jungler right there did decide to go AFK, I think. Not 100% sure, but uh, he's just going to chill there. I'm going to pick up some extra gold. And then uh, look what happens here. So in a second, you'll see um, after I kill these minions, Saw is going to walk in here. And things are going to get a little bit interesting. So there Saw walks up here and just starts decimating our guy. 
um, and I decided to try and save him, but that was a really stupid decision, so I'm going to have to try and get out of there without taking too many hits. Now at this point, you see we are, have a pretty good lead on them, on all characters, so uh, we can take them 2v2 and win almost all of the time. And I'm actually going to try and chase down their uh, Ringo right here, and it looks like I'm going to get really close to taking him out, uh, but I didn't have another Achilles heel up, so I couldn't uh, get that extra slow to finish him off. Anyway, we're going to steal their wave right here, take some extra gold, and right now I'm at over a thousand, so I should probably be going to a shop. Uh, but since we're just so far up, I don't really see any point in it. And instead, I'm just going to sit here and push this wave in. So at this point, you see we are going to be attacking their first uh, inner turret. It's kind of important because once you take down that first one, uh, you pretty much free reign of their base unless they all respawn at the same time and you get caught out. Anyway, right here, I'm going to uh, pop my ultimate, which has super long range. And it actually sort of allowed me to uh, hunt him down because I wasn't sure exactly where he was going. Uh, but since I saw where that ultimate went, I could just sort of follow that up and find him. Anyway, right here you see he's going to get super low in health. He actually tried to fight back, which is pretty funny, but uh, he got taken out, and I still had over half of my health. So not too worried about that, and my uh, minion camp did decide to help out there. I still don't know what I'm supposed to be calling those. I'm sure there's some like actual name for him, but you know, minion camp works fine. Anyway, we're going to pop all of our abilities right here and just take out this turret with ease. That's an extra 300 gold. We're now over 2,000, and uh, that means I should probably be going back to shop, but I decided, you know what, we can finish, and uh, we're going to go in right here to finish. So uh, I've gone 4-1 and one so far, and it looks like to finish this, we're just going to have to uh, defend individual units. And uh, by, by that, I mean basically they didn't all die at the same time, so they're not going to respawn at the same time because they're all reasonably the same level. Um, so what happens is they're going to respawn one at a time, they're going to try and attack us, but it's going to be 3v1 and we're going to take them on easily. So right here it looks like we took out that one turret really, really easily. Uh, the second one actually just had to lock onto me, but I wanted to get the extra damage, so I uh, sticked around for there for a little bit, which ended up being a big mistake later, but uh, it wasn't big enough to, for us to lose the game. So you see at this point we've taken down that second turret, and uh, now I'm going to pop my ultimate and just do some damage to that crystal. And I decided to try and stick around, but you see, um, their saw actually managed to pick me up. So that's going to be the end of the game, obviously. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and become a lieutenant today. See ya.